so much for the support over the months and whatnot <laughs> the time that you have been supporting much appreciated if it's your first time be sure to hit subscribe turn on alerts i don't know what's going on with youtube streams it feels a little bit off so hopefully it's working um instagrammers if you want to comment participate whatnot definitely head over to the instagram feed that's where we're gonna be as always i'm gonna warm up first of all warm up with some straight lines and whatnot all right let's go let's see here all right so some straight lines to get started I'll probably go for about 45 to an hour and then I've got to get back to recording for Adobe who happens to be one of my clients So yeah, hit me up with any questions, feedback, whatever, stuff you want to see, join the Discord, pitch in, check out the website, all that good stuff, okay? Alright, circles now. We're going to be drawing an avocado, as well as half an avocado, or a half avocado. Drawing, painting, pastelling, I don't know, it's going to get messy. And I got chalk pastels, I probably should have gotten oil pastels, but whatever. Even though I'm even though I'm not drawing a product right now, I still like to warm up. Oh, I'm sorry you missed the start, Svetlana. I don't know what was happening. Sometimes YouTube has some bugs, but I was saying, thank you for the suggestion. I'm going to be doing an avocado today. Maybe something else, we'll see. But yes, thank you to the patrons, including you. Latrice is always solid. Like and subscribe if it's your first time. Big Chungus, what's good? You're good. That's what's that's what's good. You're good for being here. Thank you. Mugshot rules, hello, is this your first time? Welcome. I'm just drawing some ellipses, trying to get the the muscles warm, ready to go. My kids have been hanging out with a friend today, so I've got a little, little quiet time for a minute. But yeah, I've been recording some demos for Adobe Max. That is their annual international uh, global conference that they do. And this year it's actually free. So if you use Adobe products, it's a, it's a really good conference if you either just want introductions to their products or you want to get into the weeds of a product. Um, I learned a ton last year when I went. I presented, but I also attended some sessions on After Effects, learned about motion graphics templates, learned some about video editing, and so forth. All right, anyhow, this is how I kind of warm up. It's about my seventh. Seems that YouTube, oh yeah, you guys did miss the start. I just wanna get get loose here. Let's do some wavy lines. Wavy lines, how are you guys doing? We lost Chadwick Boseman last night. RIP, me and my boys, we cried, we mourned. Um, it's interesting, when I was growing up, we didn't have black figures per se. What's up, Luke? Um, we didn't have black figures in media, so I'm just doing some, some squiggly lines to warm up. Um, one of my favorite cartoons, though, was Brave Star. I don't know if any of you watched Brave Star. I'm kind of old, though. I'm 37. <laughs> Alright, I feel like my muscles are warm now. Um... I used to watch Brave Star. Brave Star! Anyhow, he wasn't actually a black figure. He was, um, I think he was Native American as a character. But it was the only like character I could relate to. So losing Chadwick Boseman, if you don't know who that is, that is the star of Black Panther. It was kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big deal for a lot of people. Um, because of what he represented 
Let me turn up the gain here. Sorry, I changed it for my Adobe recording. Hope that's a little bit better. But he represented a lot of uh, hope, I would say. He represented a lot of hope. So, and just as a figure, as a child, seeing someone doing the superhero thing and looking like you, it means a lot. Or at least it meant a lot. So, RIP Chadwick Boseman. You'll be missed. And it's not like we can't watch the movies again. I get that. But it's still hard. It's still very hard. All right. So let's sketch an avocado. Maybe some other fruit. We'll see. This could be the fruit show. Avocado is technically fruit. It grows on a tree. If you guys didn't know. All right. So I'm going to start by just kind of planning and thinking out my scene here. I did grab a pencil, so I'll start with that. I've never actually sketched an avocado or drawn one. So this should be this should be interesting. It should be interesting. All right, I'm thinking I'm thinking something like this. It's too bad Svetlana and Art, I sent your your drawing that I did for you already. I could have included this one. But it's too bad. It's all good. All right, so maybe we'll start with something like this. You know, start with a, a ha avocado, and then we have a full avocado here. All right. Now, I got these from uh, Michael's Art Store. That's an art store here in the United States. So we're going to do our best to kind of guesstimate, estimate colors. and Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to get out of this if it's going to work. But I am just picking some colors I think will work here. And we're just going to go for it. Okay, so I have, looks like a black here. Maybe I can... Maybe I can start with that. I should mention, by the way, I actually did the cover art for this um, pad of paper years ago. I should have charged them royalties, but I didn't. I should have charged them royalties, but I did not. Big Chungus is asking, can I do more sneaker designs? Sure. I do shoes a lot, though, so I'm just trying to mix it up today. Now, I know the avocado is not black. But I'm just going to start with a simple black outline here. Maybe outline some stuff. A bit more, more artsy. I also have with me some Q-tips. Okay, Q-tips and some cotton swabs so I can help with my blending. So that's, that's one of the fun things about pastels is you get, you get that nice, nice blending that you can have happen. All right, so let's switch to some brown here. So this, the skin, I'm going to use a combination of brown and black. And I'm assuming my light source is coming from the top. Top left in this instance, maybe a little bit from the top right as well, since we have some shadowing here. So let's start with some brown. We'll mix in some black and shade this in. And again, I'm using I'm using a chalk pastel, so it's a little bit different. Fun fact: you can actually mix chalk pastel with uh, bestine. It's called, and it'll give you like a just working on the shadow core here. Maybe I'll use some purple for the shadows. That would be kind of nice, actually. We'll make some purple in here. A little bit of, little bit of perp. 
Anyhow, you can mix it with the solvent, and the solvent will actually give it an appearance of being like a wash on your paper. This is Bristol paper as well, by the way. We're just going to blend all this goodness together. Just using a swab here now. I'll probably use some marker on this as well, guys. But the principles are pretty much the same in that I'm trying to establish a bit of a shadow core, leave some room for some reflected light, get some mid tones in the middle. So we'll build up as we go. Trying to decide if I if I want to just blow this around my room or not. It's gonna get messy. But we'll keep blending. Thanks for joining me on Sketch Day Live and thank you for the challenge, Svetlana and Art. If you're part of the Discord, Art actually did a version of an avocado and shared. You can share your own work there. There's a bunch of people um, as well. So if you're looking to get feedback, it's a great way to do it. Just post your work. I get hit up from time to time for feedback. So it's a great way to do it. Hit up the community. See what people think. Okay, and we're just going to keep building here, just using my swab. Gotta be a little careful though. Gotta be a little careful. I guess it depends on whether the avocado is ripe or not. That's true. Don't worry, I'll recover. I'll recover. Oh, what's up, Mar Mau? Mauricio Garcio Villasenor. Como estas, mi amigo? Como le fue in Europe? I don't know how to say Europe in Spanish. Espero que todo está bien. Y buena suerte con todo en su vida. Este es Boceta, Boceto Cada Día con Spencer Nugent. Hablo un poquito español. Si quieren hablar conmigo en español, Venga a YouTube y puede platicar conmigo. Europa en español, Europa o Europa. ¿Cómo se dice Europe en español? I wish I could speak Russian then I could speak to Svetlana and Art in their native tongue. For those who've watched the stream for some time, I do have a curiosity about Russia. I'm still planning on visiting sometime. All right, so I'm trying to create a little bit of texture here with these pastels. We'll see how it goes. I may use some pencil. We're just doing full on mixed media here. Seeing what we can come up with. Not too worried. Europe, oh, Europa, Europa, okay. Entiendo, gracias. But I like to roll my R's whenever I can. All right, so I've got to decide what my light color is going to be because I want to have the light in the scene. 
in the avocado a little bit. Maybe I'll do like a yellow warm light. Like I said, I have not used these since high school, so apologies. I also cut my finger yesterday <laughs> working on some stuff. Ven conmigo. Okay, ven conmigo. Uh, yo sé cómo hablar el Tex-Mex. Viví en Texas por dos años. Cuando estuvo en parte, no, no sé cómo se dice. I used to be, I was a missionary for a while. So I was teaching uh, Christianity in Texas for two years. So I learned how to speak Spanish there. I also took some Spanish in college or not college uh, high school so I took took high school Spanish Europa Europa eh, Europa for uh, Russian that's that's good to know I like Svetlana and Art. I'm not. I'm not just saying this. I really, really want to visit one day. So I'll definitely be hitting you up when things calm down. It'll be fun. It'll be absolutely fun. All right. So just working on our our blends here. <laughs> this is kind of fun. I'll use uh, markers at the end just to finish this up. How do you even speak Tex-Mex? Parque la troca. <laughs> That's how. <laughs> not estacion, not estaciona la troca o la camioneta. Parque la troca. Misionero. Qué bueno. Me gusta pronunciar mis eres como rrr. So yeah, I think once you understand the principles of lighting and you pick up a new material, it's fairly easy, I think, to, and you understand the material, how it works. Granted, practice always is a good thing. It's not too hard to be able to do something else. And you just kind of have to understand how that material works, how that medium works, rather. You know, if in, in this case, if it's producing a lot of dust, realizing that, you know, the whole scene, canvas, whatever, may have some texture. And some of my family from Latin America, uh, my ex-wife, her family is from, well, it's a controversial thing to say. They would say they're Spanish. But anyhow, I digress. I am part white. If I go far, if I go way back in my family history, there's like some Scottish in me, but for the most part, my family is Jamaican. I'm just using a Q-tip here to get my blend in. Also, I think my kids may show up at some point, so if you hear some background noise, that's what's going on, FYI. 
If you are watching on YouTube, or sorry, Instagram, and you want to comment, YouTube's the place to be, by the way. All right. Boys? I'm streaming, okay? So please be quiet. Is Nika here? You can watch the show for now, okay? Thanks. Dude, chill. All right, we're back. Just adding some texture here. Anyhow, so like I said, maybe a little bit controversial, but they weren't ones to admit their cultural roots. Maybe that's changed, you know, people change. It's kind of a weird thing back then. People change, or do they? Do you guys feel like people change? I feel like people can change. It's really hard, but. I should not have done that. I was resisting the urge to like blow on my screen, but I did it anyways. All right, I wanna add some green in the tone here to the skin itself. So I'm just gonna put some green powder down. See if we can blend this in. Yeah, just a nice little, little bit of green in there. I don't remember who it was that was asking about pastels. Someone asked me to do pastels on the stream, so here you go, your pastels. I hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy. Uh, that was a long break. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I had to. What do you mean that was a long break? When I went to chat with my chillin'? What's up, Kilo Crow? Were you the one who asked for um, pastels? I'm trying to remember. I'm gonna look at my reference image here. Okay, so it's yellow and then green on the fringe. So I can use bright green the outside here and then we're gonna blend this green into our yellow Probably blend these with my Q tip. I can do a sh let's see, how are we on time? I can probably do a shoe after this. Somebody asked me for a shoe. Um, the seed is also a little bit, uh, it's not popping as much as I'd like to be. And then I've got to add some texture here. Do they grow avocados in Russia? I'm curious. Oh no, Kilo has to go to bed. All right, dude, do your thing. Thanks for hanging. Yeah, sorry Svetlana and Art, I could have sent this had I known, but maybe I can do it again, now that we know the process. Svetlana and Art are in Russia. Hope that's okay to say, but anyhow, they had me do some, some artwork and I just mailed it off to them, so that's what I'm referring to.
Okay, I'm trying to keep my dust somewhat contained just because I have computers around and all of that stuff, all right? Oh, you import from South America, that's cool. How do I know? Oh, I was like, how do I have not have a white pastel? I was like, this is weird. Keep shading here. Maybe add a little hit of yellow on our seed. Some brown and maybe just a touch of black. We can blend those in. So now I have a base tone in. I'm just going to take this pastel, kind of hit some spots, particularly where we have light being the most intense, just to create a bit of texture on the avocado itself. Okay, important question, Svetlana and Art. Are there taco shops in Russia? Taco shops, Mexican food. Is that a thing there? Are you guys able to get that? I'm curious. Can you make a living as an illustrator or a sketcher? Um, that's a good question. I set my prices high. <laughs> um, I could talk to you offline about pricing. I don't like to say that to everyone, mostly because context matters and clients matter. So it depends on who your client is and the nature of the product project. But it's important to put your work out there. Mau, Mauricio. So you're doing the right thing. You're you're on Instagram. You've got a, a following. You know, just keep producing, keep keep making stuff, and the work will it'll come to you. Um, sometimes you have to do stuff for free. So because I know I'm not super good at logos, not that I'm not super good at logos, I'm not known for logos. So I do a lot of free logos for people because I'm trying to build up my portfolio to about 10 logos or so, and then I can start to promote it. So that's one way to do it. Do some free illustration work. Um, and when you feel like you have enough, just put it out there. Definitely work on your style. Um, versatility helps, for sure. That's what I would do. Same with photography. I'm trying to get into photography more, so I'm doing free portrait work for people. Because it gives me a chance to practice, but then I don't have to pay for models or anything crazy like that. Yeah, 
I kind of wish I'd gotten oil pastels, but it'll be aight. Taco is a specific food there. A few places that, okay. In the peripheral, we have pizza, burgers, sushi, okay. What are the thin Russian pancakes called? Are those crepes? Like French crepes or what are those? I'm curious. Man, I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten all day. This avocado is making me hungry. Something a little different for you guys. A little bit more artsy fartsy. Drawing is really just another language if you think about it. Drawing, visual communication. It's just another way to, to put things. just have to understand the principles, be willing to try things, make mistakes. And the rest isn't too bad. Am I out of smudgers? Almost. So I have a background foreground situation going on. Um, I think I'm going to use for the shadows a little bit of blue here. It's like a cool tone for my shadows. So I'll mix in some blue. Like blue and gray, blue and black, something like that. Just kind of smudge those in. I wasn't careful on the side, <laughs> so it's a little messed up. Should we add another fruit to this? I think we should add another fruit. So it's not just an avocado. Or maybe something like a, I don't know, a glass vessel of some sort. That'd be fun. my whiskey glass and yeah you could do something like that I gotta go say something to my kids and I'll be right back. So like I said, I might use some pencil here just to kind of help out here and there. It feels weird though. Maybe I won't use pencil. I suppose that's one of the challenges of this pastel. Is that why you guys wanted me to use pastel? Because it's really hard to use. Blini. Blini? Hard to transcribe without... Sl I wish I could speak... I like... I don't, I'm not just saying this because you guys are Patreons, patrons, but I love Russia. I've always 
how to thing. I, I don't know. It's like a curiosity, uh, just a bit of a fascination. Always. All right, a little bit of Q-tip action there. Let's change up my music. Oh wait, no, I haven't made it through all of it, but I'll change it up anyways. All right. Once again, Sketch Day Live, thanks for joining. Just got a little bit of that green in the skin. So I didn't, like I said, I didn't do any tests before this stream. Um, just kind of playing around here. Somebody wants a watermelon next. Juicy, juicy watermelon. I'm gonna wreck my computer. All right, so let's do this little glass here. So for that, I'm gonna break out my gray pastel here. And rather than doing lots of blends, I'm gonna keep this fairly crisp for the most part. A bit more graphical. of brown here. Never had a real art teacher in school, even in high school, teachers gluing beans. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? No way. Andrew. Andrew says, even in high school, the art teacher is gluing beans to a piece of construction paper. That's just crazy. I I had real high school art. I'm trying to remember her name, actually. Well, I had two. I had Miss Lynch. And Mi 
Oh, Miss Bowen. That was her name. Miss Lynch and Mrs. What well, was Miss Bowen, and then she got married. Oh, I have an update for you guys. So remember I did those custom specs? I should have them this week. Well, not this week, but soon. I should have them soon. So can these replace color markers? I mean, I could do a shoe using pastels. I kind of want to make the ground red. I don't know why, but I do. So that's what I'm doing here. Might make for some cool, some cool lighting. I think pastels for product rendering would be difficult. I've used them for product rendering, but it would be difficult for sure. You can kind of use the broad side here, fill a large area. I'm just gonna have to be super careful now. My art teacher told me snooker, sneaker designs are not art. I'm sorry. I mean, they're not art in the traditional sense, but they are, or can be considered artistic, for sure. I don't see any problem with that. Probably need some like spray fixative for all this to keep it in place. It's basically like spray paint that when you're working with stuff that's more of a powder medium like this, just keeps everything in place. All right, so since I added red to the scene, I'm gonna add a little bit of red reflected light to our avocado, just to help it feel like part of the scene. Same with the glass. I'm not gonna do any like blend smudge stuff on the glass itself. A little bit of red with this black, maybe a little purple as well. this red in. Again, just to help it feel more complete here. Maybe just a hint of yellow as well on this guy from our avocado right here. Creating unconventional hands on things like a <laughs> I mean, 
mean, that's that's creative. I get that. Um, I would say design sketching is a bit more on the side of illustration than it is art. Art in the sense that you're constantly experimenting, exploring, coming up with new ways to show things. Um, yeah, design sketching tends to not be as much on the artistic side. Whereas art can be expressive without reason, rationale, anything like that. Just want to make this a little darker down here. Yeah, that feels better. And then now let's blend up into the red. Just some nice darks here. Maybe a little reflection in the tabletop for our avocados. All right, I'm gonna use the big fat marker just to clean up my boundary here. The BFM. I just kind of like it as a background marker. I need a refill for it. Thankfully, they are refillable, these pilots. Like that and then see, I don't want to use that I'll use the pastel Let's just get a bit more intensity of light on this guy Did the stream stop I can't tell hold up my kids are watching YouTube so I gotta make sure All right, I lied. I said I was gonna do a shoe, but this is taking a bit too long, so I'm gonna call it after this guy. I didn't lie, I just overestimated <laughs> how quickly I would complete this. So my apologies. And now my desk is a mess. That's why I don't use pastels. I gotta clean this all up now when I'm done. All right, people. There you go. There is your avocado, as requested by Svetlana for Fan Friday, but I didn't finish in time, so for Fan Saturday. Unexpected stream, but here we are. Getting it done. All right, so there we go. A couple more things I probably could do. Take this paint marker, for example, or ruin this paint marker. I probably should take a paintbrush and do this. But just a little bit of highlighting where I can't get things popping enough seed for example just a little white spot there on the 
glass. When is my next stream gonna be? I'll be streaming tomorrow at 10 a.m. It's already scheduled, so I will be streaming then. Big Chungus, were you the one who asked for shoes? I forget. I'm trying to remember. But bottom line is if you if you subscribe and turn on alerts, you won't miss. So that's the way to do it, really. Sometimes I go by Black Ross. Maybe I need to have a few beverages in me for that one. Something like that. All right, there's probably more I could do to this, but I'm gonna call it good and say I completed an avocado it's for Svetlana and Art. There it is. An avocado and whiskey. What? That would be a delightful lunch, wouldn't it? Andrew has never eaten an avocado? Get yourself to the store. Go buy an avocado. Get some everything bagel seasoning. Put on it. And then go eat it. That's what you need to do. Actually, eat it plain first with salt. And then, put some sriracha on it. You could even take the seed of an avocado out. Put like an egg in the middle. It's pretty good. Um, salsa, if you can get salsa wherever you are. I think you're in the UK, right, Andrew? Um, put some salsa on it. There's a lot of stuff you can do to enjoy your avocado. Avocado with wine, that sounds good. That sounds really good. All right. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Much appreciated, much love. My hands are completely filthy right now. Um, I hope you had a good time. I'll be back tomorrow. Normally on Sunday, I do Sci-Fi Sunday. We'll see what we do. If you have suggestions for what you want to see, I'll be back then. So hit me up. As always, if you want to support, become a patron. Patreon.com slash sketchday. There's a few perks. You get high resolution scans of all the sketches I do. Um, discounts on tutoring. I will answer your questions, things like that. So it's a great way to connect if you want to do that and support me. You can also check out sketchaday.com. That's where I post uh, blog posts and there's brushes and more to come soon. And if you just want to donate, you can donate. The links are in the frame. So much appreciated. Much love. Hope you have a good and prosperous Saturday. I will be back tomorrow. Um, <laughs> looks great. Art says that continues in a style where Tom... Waits song would sound good as a background track. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was listening to Tom Waits last night. He's a good artist. All right, guys. You take care. Much love. Peace to you. And stay safe. See you tomorrow.